I'm here with Dan Rojas from Great Power Science. We've got a death ray, if you will. It's not really a death ray, but it's a parabolic mirror. Right now it's a flat mirror. A and this flat is, mirror, so you can stand in front of it, nothing's gonna happen. This is just a simple piece of mylar, and it has a pull tab on the back, so when you pull it this way, it displaces the air inside, and you create a small, shallow parabolic curve here, and it concentrates sunlight in this long beam that's about that big. So it's not as concentrated as the shorter focal length parabolic mirrors with the Fresnel lenses, so it doesn't have that ultimate destruction in the focal point. Could you make something far more powerful if you had a much bigger one, perhaps? You could, you could, you could go bigger with it. This is an iPhone 7, it works perfectly fine. We are going to try to make the internals malfunction, maybe the battery starts exploding on the inside, expanding, ruins the phone. We're just gonna see if it's possible to use this mirror from like 25, 30 feet away give it an internal meltdown. And who knows, maybe it'll survive. Either way, it's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. Woo! Here we go. Okay, here goes the parabolic mirror. I'm gonna go behind you, actually. That is super bright. Dang, so he's just aiming this thing right at it. Wow. We'll see if we can get the iPhone to turn off a little meltdown. The wind machine worked again. You wanna go ahead and pick it up? Is it hot? Oh dang, half it's, the screen. The darkness is receding. You can see right on. here, the screen is coming back to life, if you will. It had a meltdown. This same thing happened when we were cooking an iPad in an oven. Uh, part of the screen slowly malfunctioned as it overheated. Oh, that's really hot still. Dang, okay, let's get this tape back up there. Oh, I think it already turned off. It turned off so fast. Whoo, that's so bright. It's like right in the reflection. Oh my goodness, look, it's burning a hole through the center. What? The screen is melting. Oh, that is amazing. Gee, it's bubbling. It's it is. boiling over right in the middle of it. We got yeah. some smoke in. That's crazy. Wow. Holy cow, it's smoking again. This is craziness. We've got chunks of the top part of the glass just melting down the front of the glass. That's probably a big chunk of the LCD right there. Holy cow, is that the plastic melting away or is that the glass melting away? That must be the glass. Oh yeah, the bit lithium ion battery. Look at it, it's bubbling out right now. That's nuts. Wow. Look at, like if you get up close enough, you can see it's bubbling out the sides. Whoa, the screen is separating from the back right now. Wow. This is some crazy stuff, is it not? Holy, this is way more than I expected. You can really smell that battery too. Let's go ahead and evaluate this bad boy. That was insane. No chance the battery will blow up in our faces. Oh, 100% chance. All right, it's weird. The glass was itself melting? was not shattered. You know what it must have been? It must have been the lithium ion battery expanding inside of that and then melting the plastic behind the glass. Because it looked like it and was it, coming from the surface. And yeah, it looked like it was coming from the surface, the surface of it melting. But no, the glass is still intact, just fine, not shattered, but the internals were just completely destroyed. That's crazy. Wow. Well, dude, I am stoked on that video. That Thank 20 you feet so away, much. Isn't it? Yeah. Just baked that thing alive. But the, Woo! we're working on a larger one that would be effective up to about 100 foot away. So. Wow. Be looking for that on his channel eventually. Like, how hot does it get from this, you know? This one has uh, approximately 800 watts of collection area, and the focal point at um, 
20 feet is roughly 800 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, 800 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. When you're Fahrenheit. further away at 40 wow. feet, because it's a bigger focal pattern, you end up with about 450 degrees. So you can melt black plastic with this from like 100 feet. Wow, away. dude, thanks so much for having me out here. Hey, it was a pleasure having you. Go check out Dan's channel if you wanna learn more about these collecting sunlight uh, Fresnel lenses, which we made another video on, uh, as well as these parabolic mirrors and other DIY project videos. So, freaking awesome. Anyway, so that's it for this video. We'll see you next time. Brandon and Dan out. Woo!